If you've ever felt stuck in anxiety, brain fog, or chronic stress that just won't go away, your vagus nerve is 90% shut down. Harvard neuroscientists discovered that Tibetan monks can rewire their entire brain in 11 minutes using exactly 111 breaths. This isn't meditation. This is a precise neurological reset that activates gamma waves faster than two decades of traditional practice. And I'm about to show you the exact protocol. Here's what's really happening inside your brain right now. Every shallow breath you take, and you're taking about 20,000 of them per day, is sending a micro signal to your amygdala that danger is present. Your stress response isn't occasional anymore. It's your default operating system. You wake up tired. Your mind races at night. You snap at people you love. You feel disconnected from yourself. That's not weakness. That's your autonomic nervous system stuck in sympathetic overdrive. And doctors won't tell you there's a biological off switch you can activate in 11 minutes. The pharmaceutical industry doesn't want you to know this. Anti-anxiety medications are a $19 billion industry. But research published in the Journal of Neuroscience proves that controlled breathing can regulate your nervous system more effectively than benzodiazepines, without side effects, without dependency, without numbing you to life. Ancient Tibetan monks have been using this exact 111 breath technique for 5,000 years. They called it awakening the inner fire. Modern neuroscience labs at Stanford have now measured exactly what happens. Your brain produces gamma waves at 76 cycles per second, the same frequency that creates peak mental performance, emotional resilience, and what researchers call accelerated neuroplasticity. Let me explain why everything you've tried before only gave you temporary relief. Your vagus nerve is the longest cranial nerve in your body. It runs from your brainstem down through your heart, lungs, and digestive system, controlling everything from your heart rate to your inflammation response to your emotional regulation. Here's the critical part most people don't understand. 80% of your vagus nerve fibers carry information from your body to your brain, not the other way around. When you breathe shallow chest breaths all day long, you're literally uploading stress signals to your central nervous system every single minute. Your brain doesn't know the difference between a real tiger and a deadline. It just knows your breathing pattern looks like danger. So it keeps you in fight or flight mode, day after day, year after year. This is why talk therapy only goes so far. You can't think your way out of a nervous system problem. You need to speak the language your autonomic system understands. And that language is breath. The military connection. Navy SEALs figured this out during high-stress combat operations. When you're in a war zone making life or death decisions, you can't afford anxiety or brain fog. Their medical team studied ancient breathing techniques and developed combat-tested protocols that reset the nervous system in minutes, not months. Special Forces operators use breath control to stay calm under fire, make split-second tactical decisions, and recover from trauma faster than the general population. These aren't mystical practices. These are survival tools backed by military neuroscience research. The 111 breath protocol takes this even further. It's not just stress management. It's brain rewiring at the cellular level. Here's what actually causes your chronic stress, anxiety, and mental exhaustion. Your vagal tone is too low. Vagal tone measures how active your vagus nerve is, how quickly you can shift from stress response to rest and recovery mode. People with high vagal tone bounce back from stress quickly. They sleep well. They regulate emotions easily. They have mental clarity and stable moods. People with low vagal tone, which is 78% of adults over 40, stay stuck in chronic stress. Their heart rate variability is low. Their inflammation markers are high. Their cortisol never drops. They're physiologically incapable of deep relaxation no matter how many vacations they take or breathing apps they try. 
Standard breathing exercises address surface symptoms. The 111 breath technique targets the root cause. It creates a specific rhythm that forces your vagus nerve to reactivate and your brain to produce coherent gamma waves across multiple regions simultaneously. The 111 breath protocol. Now let me walk you through the exact 111 breath protocol. You can do this anywhere, your bedroom, your office, even your car before a stressful meeting. All you need is 11 minutes of focused breathing and a quiet space where you won't be interrupted. Breaths one to 37, activation phase. Sit with your spine straight. This isn't about comfort. It's about optimizing the vagal pathway from your brainstem down through your torso. Slouching literally crimps your vagus nerve. Place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. You're going to breathe in a specific 4-4-6 pattern. Inhale for four counts through your nose. Hold for four counts. Exhale for six counts through your mouth. Here's the key that most breathing techniques get wrong. Your exhale must be longer than your inhale. That extended exhale is what activates your parasympathetic nervous system and signals safety to your brain. Your belly should expand first, then your ribs, then your chest. This sequential filling activates different vagal branches in order, like flipping circuit breakers back on one by one. Begin now. Four count inhale, four count hold, six count exhale. Repeat this pattern. You're aiming for 37 breaths in this first phase, approximately three to four minutes. Around breath 20, you'll notice your thoughts starting to quiet. Around breath 30, you might feel warmth spreading through your chest. That's not imagination, that's increased nitric oxide production, dilating your blood vessels as your vagus nerve wakes up. At breath 37, you've reached the first gamma wave threshold. Neuroscientists at Max Planck Institute measured this exact point. Subjects showed initial gamma wave increases on EEG monitors. Your brain is beginning to change frequency. Breaths 38 to 74. Neuroplasticity window. Continue the same 4-4-6 pattern without stopping. Don't break rhythm. Your breath is now a metronome resetting your entire nervous system. This middle phase is where the real transformation happens. At breath 50, your heart rate variability begins increasing measurably. Your vagus nerve is gaining tone, gaining strength, learning how to regulate you automatically. Around breath 60, some people experience tingling in their hands or feet. That's peripheral nerve activation, your entire nervous system coming back online after years of shutdown. At breath 74, the doubling point, something extraordinary occurs. Researchers using fMRI scans observed neuroplasticity markers appearing in blood tests at this exact count. Your brain is becoming hyper-receptive to rewiring. New neural pathways are forming in real time. This is why the ancient masters chose 111 breaths specifically. They discovered empirically what we can now measure scientifically. There are threshold points where your nervous system shifts into accelerated change states. Breaths, 75 to 111. Gamma coherence. You're in the final stretch. Maintain that 4-4-6 rhythm. Your breathing should feel effortless now, like your body has found its natural frequency. Between breaths, 75 and 111, your brain enters what neuroscientists call coherent gamma synchronization. Multiple brain regions, your prefrontal cortex, your hippocampus, your amygdala, begin firing in perfect harmony at 76 cycles per second. This is the exact brain state observed in Tibetan monks with 40 years of meditation practice, except you've reached it in 11 minutes. At breath 111, complete your final exhale and sit in absolute stillness for three full minutes. Don't move. Don't open your eyes. This integration period is critical. Your brain is consolidating the neuroplastic changes you just created. 
Let me tell you exactly what happens when you use this protocol twice daily, once in the morning and once before bed. First 24 hours. Most people notice they fall asleep faster and sleep deeper that very first night. Your nervous system has finally received the signal that it's safe to power down completely. 48 to 72 hours. That constant background anxiety starts lifting. You'll notice you're not catastrophizing small problems. Your emotional reactions become proportional to actual events instead of feeling overwhelming. One week. Chronic tension patterns begin releasing. Tight shoulders, jaw clenching, digestive issues. These physical manifestations of nervous system dysregulation start resolving because you've addressed the root cause. 30 days. Brain scans show measurable increases in gray matter density in your hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. Your capacity for emotional regulation, memory, and executive function has literally expanded. This isn't subjective. This is structural brain change. Here's my challenge for you. Practice this 111 breath protocol twice daily for seven days straight, morning and evening, without skipping a single session. Before you start right now, rate your current stress and anxiety level from 1 to 10 in the comments below. Then after seven days of consistent practice, come back and comment your after number. Clinical studies show 83% of participants experience significant improvement within one week. Most report their anxiety dropping by four to six points on a 10-point scale. If you're watching this and thinking about someone who struggles with chronic stress or anxiety, share this video with them immediately. This information could eliminate years of unnecessary suffering. Your nervous system is designed to self-regulate. This 111 breath protocol gives your biology exactly what it needs to return to that balanced state. Military tested by Navy cells, scientifically validated by Harvard and Stanford neuroscience labs, practiced for 5,000 years by Tibetan monks, and now available to you in the next 11 minutes. This is just the foundation protocol. Once you've mastered these 111 breaths, there are three advanced variations that multiply the gamma wave effects by combining specific breath retention patterns with what monks call inner heat generation. And when you layer that with the frequency entrainment technique that